all right guys we're back here on the channel and today i'm going to be talking about i guess you could say it's a summoning guide summoning game plan or whatever it's about what you want to do for lost fame meliotis now if you guys don't know lost fame meliotis is coming out in two weeks and i have made a couple videos quite a lot of videos on lost fame meliotis but he deserves all this praise so what i recommend you do if you're free to play is that with this new super awakening update i don't even know what happened to it i don't know if it happened or if it didn't because they did say they were thinking about doing it i don't know if it happened i don't know if it didn't but with this update there i think they're going to do it right if they haven't already with this update you no longer need dupes for lost fame meliotis so i know a lot of you free to play players were going to actually chase dupes for him just for super awakening but now you don't need to so i recommend you summon go all go all out until you get your first copy once you get your first copy save your gems for a different manner right i'm even if i was free to play to be honest i still would have went all the way reason being is because i skipped banners for this banner because I wanted to pull those units off the banner. Derriere is probably going to be on the banner. Blue Melascula, Blue Gallon, right? Green or Red Mont Speed, Red Esterosa, um, King, right? These are units I still don't have that I need, right? I won't use them besides Red King, Melascula. I mean, Blue Gallon. I'll use Blue Gallon from time to time. Actually, I think I'm planning on using him for my Hell Farming Team or my Hell Red Demon Farm Team. We'll see what happens, but yes those are the i need to summon and get those characters also i need to get dupes for um my escanor and all that stuff but if you're free to play i recommend you get your one copy and head out the banner right because you could save your gems for another banner now i know a lot of you guys think or you guys said you're gonna skip because a lot of people are telling other people to skip the banner because goddess ellie is going to come out there are leaks and pictures i don't know if these are i know they're real leaks i don't know if if this is like true with the asset code name like the code name in these images are saying that goddess ellie is still coming out for the first year anniversary on global and to me that makes the most sense still because they are the same game still just two different versions and in gotcha they always have the same anniversary no matter what version it is it's the same game so it only makes sense if the two versions still have the same first year anniversary i think that's pretty cool like Las Vegas Melly Odyssey doesn't need to be for the 7.77 download celebration, right? It's actually better that we're getting him for the half year than the 7.77 download celebration. Because if you guys don't know, for half year on JP last year, we got on the banner, the banner we got was Tank Diane and Blue Bond. That was the banner, and they were already out in the game, so it was horrible. Right, this is we're having a, a get opportunity for Lost Fame Melio. So I recommend you get your first copy, then bounce. I don't recommend you skip this banner for Goddess Ellie, because that means you're skipping, you're waiting, you waited a whole year for Lost Fame Meliodas. You, you waited a whole year to get Lost Fame Meliodas, basically. Right? Once his banner drops and he doesn't come back, he's probably gonna come back at first year anniversary. Hey, you want to wait another six months by then super awakening should surely be out green eastern will probably be out so goddess ellie's banner is like useless then like no joke her banner her banner might be different who knows but her banner will be useless because green eastern is a problem her team her team her team with lost fame meliotis and king green eastern just stops that whole team and green eastern is a bad ass man i'm telling you guys so i don't recommend you skip the banner also that if you guys don't know on jp when he first came out and when he came out again for goddess ellie's banner there was like a 900 stone mileage right where if you wasted if you did 30 multis you guaranteed get him on his banner but when I, goddess ellie came it was if you did 30 multis you got to guaranteed pick one out of him out of lost fame meliotis and goddess ellie now if you're free to play and you summon all the way and you get like if you pull him around 800 or a, like yeah i would say 800 if you pull him around 800 i recommend you do finish out the banner because you're only three or four you're only three or four multis away from getting another dupe and in those three or four multis you do have another chance of pulling him so i do recommend you do clear out the banner if you're around 800 but if you're at 700 600 i don't recommend you finishing out the banner and how it works usually it, it or how it worked it was like 
after 300 um, gems, so after 10 multis, they would guarantee give you an SSR, but they would pick for you. So it'd be random, right? And then at 600, it did the same thing. And at 900, you got to guaranteed pick who you wanted. So I recommend you do go up to when he, until you pull him, whatever, how much ever gems it is until you pull him, then stop unless you're 800 in already. Then I recommend clearing out the banner because it's basically a free dupe right and you have another chance of pulling him so i i do recommend you don't skip this banner for goddess ellie's people are telling other people to uh like all these people who are telling you guys to skip god or skip this banner for goddess ellie's banner like just skip it completely are probably the same people who are going to summon right they're probably just telling you to skip because they don't want to have to deal with you in pvp right because I don't know why you would want to skip Lost Vein Meliodas' banner, the best unit in the game, by far. Just in general, all around, best unit in the game. I don't understand why you would want to skip his banner, where you could pull him, Green Escanor, Red Derriere, uh, Red King, all these units, right? Small Tank Dian. Why would you want to skip a banner like that? It doesn't make sense. So. Hey, I recommend you get your one copy. Once you get your one copy of, as a free-to-play, head out, save your gems for e e either uh, Goddess Ellie if you want to, um, or Green Easton. I'm probably going to save all my gems up. After this banner, I'm not going to summon on any other banner still. Like, a lot of people thought after this banner, I was going to summon on every banner again. No, I'm still skipping these banners. All these banners that come out are going to be garbage. I'm telling you guys, all these banners are going to be horrible. I'm going to save every single gem after Lost Me Meliodas' banner until either Green Easton comes out, which is probably not going to happen because we still don't even have Blue Easton and Mono, right? And we don't even have um, Shin or Roxy in the game either. So it will be a minute before we get those guys, right? Before we get Green Easton. And Goddess Ellie is probably still coming out for the first year. And then when, when Goddess Ellie is announced, I'll probably go back into crazy spending. Right after Lost in Meliodas' banner, I plan on like going back to a, or maybe becoming like a light spender, just spend from time to time. But when Goddess Ellie comes back out, I'll, I'll go crazy like how I did for Lost in Meliodas, right? And all that stuff, right? I have 587 here. By either tomorrow or Monday, I should have 900 already. So, <laughs> um, hey if this video was helpful and you didn't know what you wanted to do uh hopefully this helps you again if you just get your first copy head out unless you need to get every other character or you skipped every banner for these other characters if you skip the banners just to save for only guaranteed loss of meliotis or just get the loss of meliotis and you don't care about the rest then yeah just get your copy head out but if you skipped all the banners like me hoping to pull these other characters that you skipped on his banner I still recommend getting your one copy and heading out. You can pull them on another banner, even part two tickets, right? But yeah, hey, I'm just helping you guys save up your gems and using your gems um, wisely, I guess you can say, and all that stuff. So if this video was helpful, leave a, um, a like, subscribe if you're new, roll to 400 subs, and I'll see you guys in the next one later.